In the following example, we're going to take a look at how we can leverage a report instance to drive the data within a dashboard. The idea here is that we would run a report, schedule it, say, early in the morning. It would contain a large quantity of data, let's say one or two years worth, and then from that point on our dashboard, instead of going back to the database, it would get the data from the report instance. I've created a query, as you can see here on the screen, by restaurant number, retail week, period week, current year and previous year actual sales. I put a filter on here so that we're just looking at data for the current uh, year. I'm going to refresh that. You can see that we have data here on the report. I'm going to purge this information, and this is not necessary, but it does help prove out that the particular instance is being used. We're now going to log into the info view and take a look at this particular report where it's published and look at its history. And at the moment, there is no history. Again, um, ordinarily we would schedule this, but at the moment, what I want to do is show you that the dashboard has no data. We'll go back and schedule the report, and then we'll see the data on the dashboard. On the screen, I have our dashboard, a very simple model. It's going to have um, drop downs for restaurant and period couple of refresh buttons that are automatically triggered on the change of either one of these values and then this component will just simply display the information so if I hit preview here we'll see that the dashboard is initialized but I don't get any data here on my component and that's because I don't have a scheduled instance I will now schedule this report instance, run it now, go back and view the history, you can see that it was successfully ran. Now when I preview my dashboard, uh, again this is hooked up to the BI service, it should initialize this time with data and we see that here on the left side. Now if I scroll down here and I select different restaurant numbers you'll see that it gets populated now this data is all driven from a report instance in previous versions of Excelsius before BI services existed uh, we would have to do something like this using live office or better yet uh, third-party plugins such as Antivia which are able to do this so here I'm filtering down again by period I'm returning back to a blank period if we pass in a blank value or an empty string into a report level parameter it basically treats it as no filter whatsoever that's why we're able to go back to seeing all dates before we conclude I want to take a quick look at how we configured this connection the input parameters and the output parameters as always are important of course on the input parameter side from our WSDL we have our login and password which we always have from a query as a web service connection and then we see our report filters. These are report level, not query level. So I have my restaurant value. In this case, I'm mapping it over to my, my um, cell where my drop-down or selector outputs a selected restaurant. We have our operator. And this is an alpha um, expression, not the actual equal sign, but the, the word equal. And we do the same thing for the retail period. and the same thing for the operator there which again is equal the reset state is important here because it clears the cache of the web intelligence uh, report server um, and if we're not careful there we could we could actually show old data so we always hit reset state because we want to make sure that we clear the cache before we go get the data from the most recent instance in this example we do not set the refresh Opt input parameter it's set to or assumed to be zero which means false but what we do set is this get from latest document instance so this goes out to the history of the report and pulls the data from the instance and also keep in mind here we do have another option we could use which is get from user instance and this may be important in a scenario where we have row level security or column level security applied in the universe level. If we run that instance for a particular set of users, maybe their data set is a little bit different. But again, we don't have to query the database every time. We can go get it from the latest instance. 
On the output side, we simply are mapping in our table rows, our table headers to our spreadsheet, and that's this area here. And of course, our component is built off of this area.